Hey y'all, happy new year! Eyes is back or whatever. Hey, it's the new year, it's 2019. Y'all lit cause I'm lit and I'm happy that I can record this video for y'all. Listen, 2019 is grind year. It's the year of the grind, okay? It's the year of the grind, that's all we doing in 2019. My 2018 was cool, like, I got my biggest blessing in 2018, but that is like the only best thing that happened. In 2018, a lot of stuff happened, but we are gonna get into that, okay? So, I'm gonna do the New Year's tag, and of course I'm talking about my resolutions and my goals, and if y'all wanna hear all that, all that, keep on watching. And we're gonna start off with question one. And question one is, if you could look back on one memory from last year that you wish you could relive, what would it be? If I could look back and one memory that I could relive, it would either be, I don't know, it would either be out of two things, okay? My baby shower, just because like I had so much fun on my baby shower or giving birth, but giving birth trumps my baby shower because like I gave birth like to my biggest blessing. Like I'm a mama now, like, and I know that my YouTube has been cons like consisted of motherhood and pregnancy stuff, but that's where I am in life. Like, you know, like I'm a mama now, so y'all gonna see it. And if you don't wanna see it, you could uh, uh, subscribe or whatever, you know? But yeah, I wish I could relive childbirth. 32 hours, <laughs> Jesus, but Whew, it was all worth it just in case you haven't seen my pregnancy update I mean my pregnancy vlogs countdown y'all can still go watch that my giving labor and delivery story y'all can go watch that and my postpartum updates and all that y'all like, go watch that y'all this hair is hot under these lights and I'm hot so if I keep flicking my little weed I'm hot just, just know I'm hot okay question two what was one New Year's resolution that you accomplished? I don't even think I made any resolutions last year, to be honest. I don't think I made none, so... I'm not gonna say I accomplished none, because I don't think I made none. Number three. Three words to describe last year. Growth, motherhood, and... Ugh, transition. That's my three words. Growth, mo motherhood, and transition. I said three words, so that's my three words. Okay, best music-related creation inspiration last year by an artist in your opinion. Um, honestly, I've only been jamming LMA. Um, that was that. Uh, is it, if that's music, um, That's it, because I don't have no other, like, artsy-fartsy answer for this. Um, uh, as far as, like, inspiration, I don't really have none. Like, I don't have, nobody really inspired me last year, like, in an artistic way. Best music was, in my opinion, LMA, but other than that, no. Oh, my girl, Cardi, I can't count Cardi out, okay? I can't count her out. Cardi did some, dropped some hits last year, bro. Like, can't count her out. But other than that, nothing. Like, nothing. Something you look forward to this coming year. Since I said that this year is my grind year, I'm going back to school this year, which I, like, I had to take a semester off because I was pregnant and I couldn't go and do clinicals in the fall because all of that stuff. I'll get into that in my life update. Going back to school, I'm starting a business. Plug, plug, plug. Y'all gonna support me? Plug, plug. And, um, graduating. Graduating, graduating, graduating. And my little girl is turning one this year. Like, that's crazy. Like, my daughter is six months. She gonna be one in July. Like, what? But the thing I'm most looking forward to is graduation. Graduation, graduation. As y'all know, I was supposed to graduate in May, but I'm graduating in December. And, you know, the Lord works everything in his time and in his plan. But I'm so ready to get out of school, y'all. Woo! I'm so ready to get out of school, bro. But to graduation and my venture into entre entrepreneurship, like, I've been working on my business since MF in June, okay? Like, I've been putting elbow grease in the flow, okay? So, graduated my entrepreneurship, my daughter turning one, basically. Like, 
<gasps> I'm so I'm so ready to graduate. Y'all, I'm so ready to graduate. Like, oh Lord, I'm so ready for that BSN behind my name. I keep saying it because I'm ready. I'm ready, Freddy. Okay. What did last year teach you? Last year taught me that I had a lot of unresolved going on in myself that didn't come out until I had time like until I was still like like in the period of me like like one of my words was transition like in the period of me like becoming a, a mother to like learning how to be a mom and like you deal with so much about yourself that it's like I don't want to pass it on to my child I want to pass it on to my I want certain things I do want to pass on to my child also like I like from the time I gave birth to now until school start, I literally was not doing anything. Like, you know, like I was going to church, like I wasn't filming because I wasn't in a headspace. Like I went to I went through like a mental shift. Like I got actually got time to not do nothing. Like I working on my business cool, but that didn't take up all of my day. You know, like I really had to be a mom, but I, it's like I had a mental space. Like I had the mental time and space to really deal with a lot of stuff that I just mind blocked and it came up and not doing nothing show you a lot. Like, and it's just like I learned a lot of stuff about myself. I grew through a lot of stuff i prayed through a lot of stuff like my connection with god got better because it's just like god like help me get through a lot like i went through a mental shift and that taught me a lot this year like i learned a lot more about myself i evolved into a different person like i'm still the same person but i evolved mentally so i learned a lot it taught me a lot what was your most worn clothing item of last year <laughs> jeans that's my most worn clothes i need to go shopping honey all my money go to my daughter and i be in the same clothes all the time i now talk about to not be in yoga pants so yoga pants is my most worn item i'm not, i'm gonna scrap jeans because i only put on jeans when i didn't want to wear yoga pants which was every day i want to wear i put on yoga pants every day so i'm gonna say yoga pants instead of jeans because jeans was only when i was trying to go somewhere like to the stove sometimes maybe Okay, like I got so lazy. I've been the biggest bum I ever was last year. Like, I was just tired. I was the biggest bum ever, and I'm not a bum, so I gotta, like, you know, I gotta come back to a lot because I was watching my old vlogs and stuff, and I was just like, I used to be going everywhere, stepping, makeup done for no reason. Listen, I'm gonna do that with my baby on my hip this year because I can't be a bum no more. Like, this not me. Like, mm -mm. okay. What if you had to sum up your year in one word? That what would it be? gross like i just said that they asked that question so i don't i guess like a summarization and to describe but it's growth like same thing what are you hoping for more of this coming year money increase but no i'm really looking for increase not not just in money like in everything like in wisdom and knowledge like that's what i pray for like an increase in just everything an increase in positivity and a decrease in negativity okay like i want a lot like feed me lord <laughs> um what are you hoping for less of this coming year listen i am a very giving person i give my energy out like i feel like my battery is full a lot of the time and i just be passing out energy but it don't be reciprocated like i want it to be and i'm being selfish af this year. like from now on like i'm being selfish on account of me on account of my daughter like not with my daughter but i'm being selfish for the both of us because the energy i put into people i could put into her put more into her not saying i slighted her at all but i'm saying like less of them and more of her like you know instead of trying to put a lot of energy in her and them cut them off i don't want nobody around me that ain't in my corner i don't want no negativity i will chop it at the neck if you negative i don't want to be around you if you ain't got no drive i don't want to be around you if you if you blame everybody else for your problems i don't want to be around you if you always got something to say i don't want to be around you hey listen i see this on facebook i think it was facebook it was either facebook or instagram i'm not taking constructive criticism from people who ain't constructed nothing okay like if it ain't got nothing to do with me prospering cut it cut it cut it cut it okay okay that's less okay best book you read last year um 
Oh, I read the Martin Luther King book. It's called, let me look at my Amazon account. And it got to the nitty gritty girl. It talked about how like he was a little bougie. It talked about his affairs. It talked about how he didn't really believe in himself. How he was a guilty person. How he tried to commit suicide twice. Like, y'all, I'm on my Amazon. It's called Martin Luther King Jr. A Life. That book was good. It got some really, really big words in it. Like, super big words. But that book was good. Like, that was like the best book I read all year. Like, period. Period. Free JT. Period. <laughs> okay. Um, what is your New Year's resolution for the upcoming year? Grind nonstop. Like, all I want to do is grind, 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 grind. Like, I don't want to stop. Like, I don't want to put my dreams on hold for anything. Like, you know, besides my daughter. But, you know, like, she in the dream, so I ain't putting nothing on hold for her. Like, I'm grinding no matter what. Like, I'm grinding like I had a PC mattress. I ain't never slept on a PC mattress a day in my life, okay? Like, grind 24, 2019, okay? That's it. Like, my New Year's resolution is to grind. Like, Grind until I get accomplished. Like, I'm 23. I'm going to be 24 this year. I'm trying to graduate. I told you I'm trying to open my business. I'm trying to be a great mom. Like, and this is the year of completion for me. I'm going to finish school. I'm going to start my business. Like, I'm going to be a mom on baby turn one. Like, when I graduate in December, I'm going to get my nursing career. Like, hopefully my YouTube checks run coming in too. Like, because I really love YouTube. And this is an outlet for me. So, I want to get back and push like i be promising y'all stuff and i don't be coming through because i wasn't in the mental space i ain't gonna promise y'all nothing no more but y'all gonna get what y'all get y'all not gonna catch a fit and we gonna rock okay um but yeah that's basically it like i'm grinding all year all year till i accomplish like i'm making small goals and then after that goal accomplished next goal next goal next goal next goal grind non-stop like i don't care if i gotta be tired i don't care if i gotta miss the turn up well i miss the turn ups anyways unless zero can't come i ain't coming but that's it so and that was it for the new year's tag my new year's resolution my goals what to come i hope y'all still rocking with me i love y'all Thank you. Like, comment. Ooh, come on. What's wrong with my hand? Like, comment, rate, subscribe, and I will talk to y'all in my next one. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, and y'all might see this shirt in another video because I'm filming consecutively today. Like, back to back to back. All right? Okay. Bye. <laughs>